Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we asked the question, is footies slowing down? Today the answer to that question is yes, and we're saying that footies is in the mud. This content is slowing down big time as a part of this promo. It really, really seems like EA is trying to hold things out and make things, I guess, seem like the game is coming to an end, which in reality it is. But we will see later on this week if that sometimes in the second week of a promo, I know this is the very end of FIFA and I'm probably reading into it too much. But a lot of times when they slow something down right before the end of a promo, it usually means there's something coming after it. But again, it's the end of August. If there's only if there's anything coming after this, it's got to be FIFA 22 related like a preseason type promo. And even then, there's not that much longer left in the game. So we're kind of still thinking about that, potentially going to have that later on this week. But there's a couple things today on Wednesday to look out for, specifically the Showdown SBC right here. This game between the MLS All-Stars and the Liga MX All-Stars. I know some of you guys might not care about too much, but this Nani SBC card, if the MLS All-Stars do end up winning today. Of course, the winner gets a plus two. Again, I don't think there's a draw potential here. It's They'll play to the penalties if it has to. Um, so it's, it's going to be a plus two upgrade for whoever is the winner, either for Nani or Jinyak. Of course, they are both 95 rated. Just imagine a plus two on this already overpowered Nani SBC. I mean, you get plus two in all those stats, maxed out dribbling. I mean, this card is going to look insane as it already is. So I'm kind of hoping, selfishly, uh, that the, <laughs> I mean, this, go, this goes against everything, right? Because I'm from the United States. I like the MLS, but I'm kind of hoping that my boy Big Mac Gignac gets the upgrade, right? Because I'm a big fan of Jinyak, who we call Big Mac Gignac. It's way back uh, reference right there. But uh, I'm kind of hoping that he does get the upgrade. I think that'd be super cool. Either way, though, we're going to have a nice card. More people, more of you guys will probably be more excited if Nani would go to a 97. That update should take place by, by the weekend, right? So if you wanted to use them as a super sub in the weekend league, you would be able to do that. But inside of footies, let's talk about a few more things. Yesterday, obviously, we had another close call SBC, but it's not the one that we wanted. We're still looking for the Martial, man. And I think Martial is coming. Just where the frick is he, right? EA Sports, quit delaying. Just drop the SBC. A lot of French cards recently, by the way. I mean, you think about Sissoko, you think about Kante. Now we have Umtiti here, another French item. Umtiti is the SBC that we got. Medium, medium is not the best, but this card looks pretty good and it's not that expensive. It's coming in on Fubin, just around 200,000 coins, um, possibly a shade under that. Uh, right away, but now it's it's kind of risen up just a tiny bit as more and more people are doing SBCs and there's no supply. That's a big part of what's going on in this game right now. There's no pack supply. Tradable, uh, for sure, no pack supply. They took away uh, promo packs again. They're, they're literally gone. There's even there's no promo pack section inside of the store, but 1,500 upvotes, 600 downvotes. This obviously has some hype just because it is a French center back, right? French center backs always have a place in this game, especially La Liga Lynx links to Varane, you know, you link to a nice Ramos, to a Militao, to, you know, a lot of those other Barcelona players that are in a lot of people's defenses at the moment in FIFA. Jordi Alba gets a nice link to him. So that uh, um, titty today, it did move so, uh, the M Militao and Varane cards a little bit. I believe uh, Militao shows right now at about 375,000 coins. I think he dropped down a slight bit. Yeah, he went from 383.90 down to the 350s and is back up to 370. I believe that Varan dropped a slight bit as well. He's 496. I don't know how low he actually got, but he was above 500. Yeah, he was 530, went down to 470 and is now back up to 500. So a slight bit of a drop on some of those other La Liga center backs, but I just think there wasn't as much hype around this um, Titty SBC. Decent card, not too insane, but we also had a nice little dynamic image update for Jesse Lingard, which is nice. Uh, makes the card look pretty good there as well. So that was a nice little update. I think that was just at an off random time this evening heading into Wednesday that they did that. So that was nice to see right there um, on the Lingard SBC. They also re-released the 88 plus and I actually was doing a few of these today with, you know, basically some of the high rated that I was packing. Uh, I would rinse them in and out and you know doing some 82 pluses into the 88 plus player pick if you're really trying to grind the 82 to 88 is technically good value if you get nine rares on bid that's pretty cheap if you're trying to craft multiple multiple spcs but one of the big things about today is there's a lot of stuff that is expiring 
Vidra, last week on Wednesday was a pretty big day, right? You remember the silver uh, stars, basically the free 125K pack. I believe that was all released either last Wednesday or Thursday that was released. But a lot of stuff is expiring. Vidra, Mendez, um, the 87 times 10 is a big one that is expiring today. And I would not be surprised if this does not get re-released. I think since they re-released it already, this one's probably going to go away and it's going to stay away. We'll have the 88 plus and the 82 plus regular player picks still available, but I think that SBC is going to be one that goes away today. Um, I think there's a couple other ones as well. La Liga Tots Challenge, that's not a really big one. Um, actually, that might be it. That might be it, unless there's something I've already completed that would be expiring as well. But maybe like the 91 times five or the 92 player pick, one of those might be going away as well. But the big one's the 87 times 10. So if you guys are gr crafting those and grinding those, you have a last few hours to complete that one. And hopefully when this goes away, since this is really a lot of our demand, um, this, this is why we have so much demand for some of those 81, two and three rated cards. Hopefully when this goes away, if it does, you'll see some of these cards maybe drop down a little bit. But again, if there's continual SBCs that are out, what's really going to make them drop? Um, because there's not much demand. They'll probably drop a little bit, but we need some pack supply EA Sports. The preview packs were actually helping out this market a lot more than we realized um, because they were actually supplying the market. Did they just add these? Literally earlier today, there were no promo packs in the store. What the world? That's random. That is very random. So something's going on with promo packs because today at 6 p.m., um, there were no promo packs. There was not even a tab here. Like these were literally gone. So I'm kind of interested to see uh, why. Maybe these got added back in, but we'll keep an eye on that. But the big thing is no preview packs, right? We haven't had preview packs in a while. And um, that just really means not a lot of supply is coming to this market. Sometimes they drop a tradable supply SBC, but that really doesn't impact the market very much anyway because with non-rares and some of the rare golds being inflated right now it's not even worth it to go into here and try to do an 80 rated SBC just to get a gold players pack right it's not worth your coins not worth the time to be grinding that just with how expensive those cards are at the moment so a couple other things just to kind of keep an eye out for there's still some rumors out there right there's still some rumors about some objectives about some players that could be released Still, as a part of the footies promo, um, I'm still hoping for a couple more player SBCs. We had them titty, but again, with things slowing down, it doesn't seem very likely, but I'm still hoping for a few more cards like that Martial, maybe like this, the Silas SBC um, or another footies favorite um, from like June or something. Who knows? Uh, but one player that has been rumored to be dropping through objectives, there's actually a couple of players, but one that is the most likely I'm hearing is Bellerin. Hector Bellerin, of course, had the milestone card earlier this year, which a lot of people remember, and it is rumored that that card will be getting a footies item soon through objectives. So that's kind of one thing to watch out for. And also this man right here, a lot of people are hoping that Furlan Mendy gets a footies card, because if you think about all of the super meta uh, or some of the most meta cards that we have had this year, in FIFA 21, we had an Atal, we had an Adama, we have had a Renato Sanchez, and Mendy is like one of those last cards that we haven't had yet that we kind of hope to see get a special item. So I think we're really hoping to see a Mendy today, or maybe not today, but as a part of footies. But I feel like that's kind of like a last chance grasp, if you will. They're very small potential for that. And if they're going to drop it as an objective or an SBC, Time is running out, right? Because footies ends on Friday. Varan is also one of those. Some people are saying there's going to be a Varan mendy dynamic duo, even though Varan is now in Manchester United. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We're kind of like just clutching at straws, to be completely honest, uh, for some of this content. But definitely right now, this is the end game, man. I, I told the Twitch stream earlier today uh, while we were streaming. I said, hey, this week is probably going to be like the last week that I'm really grinding FIBA 21. So I'm going all out, man. I'm probably going to end up this week with like less than 100,000 coins. I'm going to be doing, I've been doing 88 plus player picks, 82 plus player picks. My last shot at packing a 90, uh, nine rated card earlier today on stream, um, I packed this Militao, which was very nice. I finished off the Jinyak, the Nani SBC, the Renato Sanchez SBC. I finished off these cards, uh, and I also was able to pack a Militao from an 88 plus. 
and I packed a Chiesa as well. So trying out a couple of these cards again, just trying to give my 99 Messi some playtime as well. Trying to enjoy this end game squad that I have with all the insane players, right? It's it's hard. It's hard to make a team right now in FIFA because there's just so many great players that are out and it's hard to link them all together. So I know some of you guys are, you know, going through the same thing, but that's just kind of the state of the game for me at this time. I mean, especially uh, taking some time off over the next two weeks, starting um, on next week. I know I haven't talked a lot about that, but I'll be taking a, a little bit of a time off as I'm getting married and obviously not going to be around right after that. So um, there's going to be some stuff. I'm going to be posting some uploads on the channel that I'm recording ahead of time. Some like FIFA 21 year in review type stuff, um, you know, like a club tour and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that kind of content. But I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on that. And that's another reason why I'm really trying to submit uh, a lot of my coins into these SBCs this week. Because for me, especially for how my schedule looks and taking a little bit of time off before FIFA 22 starts, this is literally the last few days, last end game. Um, this is the end game for me inside of this game. So that's why I'm really trying to spend my coins and, you know, take my last shot at packing a 99 rated card while they are still in packs. So again, just looking forward into the week though a little bit more. If we see any sort of like, if the content continues to be pulled back today, you know, usually on Wednesdays, we expect a footies vote, right? We haven't had uh, a footies vote on Monday to get an SBC today. Not expecting one of those. I would expect a player SBC today, you would think. Um, but again, with just the stuff that they was released yesterday, the 88 plus that they re-released, they set it to expire on Friday. So it really seems like Friday is a big cutoff day. And I think maybe Thursday, if we, that would be like the day to maybe expect a loading screen. If they were going to do some sort of like preseason or I don't know what they would call it, but like, you know, a transfer, not a transfer promo, maybe a transfer promo or like something to kind of transition into FIFA 22. I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to do anything along those lines. Of course, we're watching the, uh, we're watching the code. If there's anything that's added into the code today, then potentially that type of pack could come out today, but I'm not expecting a big day of content unless EA surprises us with something really seems like they're trying to pull the reins back, make it kind of quiet right now in this last stage of the game, you know, let you grind the SBCs that you want to grind. You can still do packs right now. There's a lot of stuff that are, these 82 plus player picks are, are low key fire. A lot of fodder available, a lot of high rated cards being packed from these from a lot of people that I've seen, a lot of them we have opened. So it definitely is like the last chance to have a lot of fun in this game. Um, but I don't think the game is quite over yet because again, Icon Swaps 4, we have new tokens that will be grindable through objectives later on. Icon Swaps, I believe, yeah, five days, 15 hours until the new ones come next Monday. So I'm really curious to see what happens with this. And if EA tries to like still have a promo going on while Icon Swaps is going on, or not so that's this is probably the number one place where i'm i guess interested i'm six out of 15 on the rivals matches so i think i'm going to give this weekend league a go probably not going to finish it all the way but at least have a last opportunity to play in some foot champs games got to play some rivals though to get those points up so that's kind of what's going on with me and my account a little bit of an update there seeing my team and stuff again um you'll see some tweets i know i keep talking about this but fifa 21 end game teams get yours ready probably at the end of this week i'm going to post um, post some tweets and say, Hey, show me your end game squads. And, uh, I will compile some of those if you want me to and feature your squad in one of the videos on the channel to see how your grind, um, has gone this year. Right? So I love that. I'd love to see how much you guys have progressed this year and see what kind of awesome teams and achievements you have achieved in this game. Um, that we do at an elite level, right? Spending a lot of extra effort and, um, awareness on the market where a lot of people don't but that allows us to excel and have teams like the ones that we have so that's the video for today boys again it really feels like footies is slowing down but it makes sense because it is late august if you did enjoy it smash the thumbs up on it again comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan foot account i will catch you guys later peace Bye.